One of the major Republican campaigns over the last year has been to ban whatever they deem as, quote, critical race theory in public schools. Now, of course, uh, they have been they haven't been able to point to any examples of such um, esoteric college level theory actually being taught in K through 12. But that hasn't actually stopped them from trying to weed out anything that might teach kids that racism actually exists in this country. Last week, Florida's Department of Education rejected 54 math textbooks, uh, more than 40 percent of the books that were submitted for review. Now, 28 of those were rejected because they, quote, incorporate prohibited topics or unsolicited strategies, including critical race theory. Again, these are math books for kids. In fact, the highest number of rejections were for books for kids in grades K through 5, where 71 percent of the material was rejected. Now, Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis defended the decision, saying there is no room for feelings when it comes to math. Math is about getting the right answer. And we want kids to learn to think so they get the right answer. It's not about how you feel about the problem or to introduce some of these other things. It's there's a right answer and there's a wrong answer. And we want all our students getting the right answers. All right, so what exactly was in these math books that made them too dangerously touchy-feely for Governor DeSantis and Florida Republicans to be used? Uh, journalist Judd Legum and his team at the Popular Information Newsletter got their hands on some of those banned books, and Judd joins me now. Judd, it's great to have you with us. So uh, let's go through these, some of these really quickly. How many of these rejected books did you and your team read? We were able to get our hands on eight of them. Okay, and how much evidence of critical race theory did you find in those books? Nothing, absolutely nothing. And in fact, we didn't really find anything that could even arguably be close to critical race theory in any of these textbooks. So then tell us, what did you find in those math textbooks uh, that reference race that has the Republicans so, uh, so worried? Well, it's interesting. And as you mentioned, most of the textbooks that were rejected were for elementary school students. We obtained four of the rejected textbooks for elementary school students. And in all of those textbooks, we couldn't find any mention of race in any context, even just uh, in passing. Uh, in the middle school textbook that we obtained, there was only one that was rejected, and we, we got our hands on it. Uh, we did find some very brief biographies in the margins of the book about famous mathematicians. And some of those mathematicians were African American. For instance, they had a brief biography of Albert Cox, the first African American to earn his PhD. Uh, but they had many biographies of people of all different races from different countries. Uh, so there certainly wasn't an emphasis on any particular one. Uh, in the high school texts, there was an acknowledgement at times. And, and this is very brief mentions, but uh, among hundreds, thousands of problems, some of the problems as part of the factual predicate for a math problem would talk about racial disparities. For instance, there was a problem that dealt with sickle cell anemia, and they discussed it how it was more prevalent in African Americans, much more prevalent than in whites. There were some other uh, problems where they did a survey about racial prejudice among different age groups. But this was all just a setup for math problems. These are math books, uh, and there wasn't any discussion of critical race theory, and there wasn't anything about racial essentialism, which is what DeSantis claimed. Um, it, they were very typical yeah. math books. And, and even more surprisingly is that Ron DeSantis said he banned a lot of these books for being too much about feelings, not enough about math. I'm just wondering, what does that even mean, that there's too much about feelings, not enough about math? Well, what happened on the right, they were very exercised about critical race theory. But as you mentioned in your intro, that's not discussed in K through 12 education. So what they've decided is that social emotional learning, SEL, is the same as critical race theory. Uh, but it's really not. Uh, it's, it's a concept that most people will be familiar with. It's about teaching kids uh, emotional skills, teaching them confidence, teaching them to get along well with others. Uh, and that's the kind of material that he used uh, in order to reject a lot of the books, particularly uh, in the, on the elementary school level. 
I know that earlier today, the uh, Florida Department of Education uh, finally gave you a few examples of what they rejected. What were they? Well, some of it was just what I was talking about, this issue of social-emotional learning, passages where they're telling kids to be kind to others, to treat other people with respect, to have confidence. Uh, other examples, uh, one of which I recognize from one of the texts that we reviewed, uh, were these high school texts where, as a predicate, but one of the examples, for instance, talked about a test that was given uh, about implicit bias and racial prejudice. And but really just looking at looking at that question, not to discuss racism or anything else, just to talk about a math problem and an equation that the that the students would then work through. And even more importantly, it's important to understand that this is just one problem of hundreds of, in some cases, thousands of problems in these in these texts. Yeah, it started with critical race theory, and now it is spreading to math. And there's no doubt about it. If Republicans have their way, it is going to spread into other textbooks in this country. Uh, Judd Legum, thank you so much for joining us. I greatly appreciate your time. Thank you for doing uh, the good work on these books and much more.